Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me here again today. My name is Cody Beyer, Program Manager on the Visual Studio for Mac team here at Microsoft. Today, we're going to go over some of the improvements to the code editor in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac that allow you to take advantage of some new advanced features that help you write better code faster. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have a to-do to add some IDs to this mock data set. Now, I could type them seven times, or I could do find and replace, but there may be instances of names somewhere else within the code file. So, I'm going to use a new powerful feature of Visual Studio for Mac called multi-caret editing. What multi-caret editing does is allow you to edit multiple lines at the same time, either using common keywords or by placing cursors manually. I'm going to place the cursor manually in each of these new items to add an ID field. To do this, I'm going to hold Option Shift and click on each area where I'd like a new caret. As I'm doing this, you can see that with each click, a new caret appears as a blinking cursor. Now that I have all the carrots I need, I'm going to go ahead and add the code. Perfect. I now have the code I need. I was able to edit all those lines at the same time. Let's check out some other new features of the editor in Visual Studio for Mac. One new feature is the ability to automatically wrap lines that exit the viewport. So, this is called Word Wrap. To enable this, I'm going to open up Preferences and enable Word Wrap. I'm also going to show visible glyphs so I can see which lines are wrapped automatically. As you can see, the lines are now wrapped, and I have visible glyphs showing me which lines are wrapped automatically. This is also done dynamically. So, as I change the window size, we also get a change in the word wrapping. This is a great feature if you often change the size of your window, but want to keep all your code in the same view. One of the great characteristics of the new editor in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac is that it's based on the Visual Studio 2019 for Windows editor. That means that we get new features at the same time as our Windows counterparts. Let's take a look at some of those features together. One of these features is that we now have the same code analysis tools as Visual Studio for Windows. Let's take a look at how that works. So here, I have an error. I cannot find the definition of people within my item class. So, Let's see what we can do. I can type this in manually, or I can see if there's a quick fix available. So by hovering over people, I see a light bulb here on the left. This light bulb has the error indicator, which to me means that there's something that needs to be fixed for my application to compile. I'm going to expand it and see that I have an option to generate variable people. So I'm going to click on generate property item.people, and that is going to add the property I need to build my project. Let's see if that worked. In addition to being based on the same editor as Visual Studio 2019 for Windows, the editor in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac is also native to Mac OS. What this means is that you get access to all the features of Mac OS within the editor. Let's take a look at a few of those. One of my favorite features is the ability to use native input methods and emoji support. So, let's add a comment saying that we finally completed this class. And by doing the common keyboard shortcut in Mac OS to enable the emoji selector, control command space, I am given the ability to add emojis directly to my code. Everybody's favorite feature we all need more emojis in our life. Perfect. We added that. Now, a more functional feature of native input support is the ability to quickly add accented characters. All you have to do is do a long press on the key you want to enter, and the Mac OS character selection screen comes up. Here, simply click the number that corresponds to the character you want, and it will be added to your code. Additionally, the new editor has support for right to left languages, such as Arabic, Persian, and Hebrew. To use right-to-left characters, all you have to do 
Just type in a right to left string or paste a right to left string and the editor will take care of the rest. Let's add a comment that says welcome to the editor in Arabic. I'm pasting in the comment and as you can see it immediately detects that it's a right to left language and reverses the comment to start on the right side. With right to left support and bidirectional text support in the editor you can ensure that all languages are supported in any context. Today, we explored some of the new features within Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. This included native input support, support for right-to-left languages, word wrap, and multi-carat editing. If you'd like to learn more about Visual Studio for Mac, please check out aka.ms slash vsmacdocs or join us for the next video in our series. Thank you.